What's up, y'all? It's your boy here to give you guys a recap, review, rundown of what we're gonna call it of Love and Hip Hop. Uh, I'm also, I was about to say Hollywood. New York <clears throat> is looking like this shit gonna be a quickie. Cause, uh, yeah, yeah, um, mm, yeah. Uh, Tara, Amina, and Peter. So, Amina, uh, says she's done. Again. And Tara has the audacity to say that Amina is on, is, she only got pregnant to keep Peter around. So, are you not using your boys to keep Peter around? But I digress. Like I said, uh, just read my book one. Yeah, that's it for Amina. Um, unless something else comes that could possibly redeem her, unless their storyline in general gives me any fucking thing, we'll not be talking about them. Yorma and uh, DJ Self on the date to reconcile. DJ Self's act, his acting is fucking horrible. I don't know why they fucking casted him. Is his acting is horrible horrible she wants them to go public i'm like where have i seen this storyline before that's right mal's in fucking milan we just got the heterosexual version right now and uh he invites her to mariah lynn's party because you know hey this is my way to you know bring you public but as we know cardi b's gonna be there but we haven't gotten there yet and mo and yandy <clears throat> right quick <clears throat> just seeing what's about to come on in uh like the next what four to five minutes i did not know like i didn't know that uh amina had a motherfucking twin okay like i know her and her sister favored each other but hi damn lord anyway wait <clears throat> uh mariah lynn dj self in the studio this and third not finna talk about all the fuck shit she brings up you know her fucking party and you know mentions Rich is hosting it and they used to do shit back in the day but yeah they still do shit but she's okay with being fuck buddies with him and you know what that's cool own your shit and admit your shit okay you like I said you go over there get you some dead he get him some pussy and then y'all do the fuck y'all do that's alright that's good um he invites uh Cardi B Cardi B walks in you know those two get to hash it out Cardi B spills the beans about Gwen and Fez Cardi B's mad because why the fuck you didn't invite me I would assume a right I would assume Mariah Lynn likes her, uh, you know, style. So, hey, you want to come to my party? And I say assume because we all know this is a Nigger Sky Young production. You know, shout out to uh, Alex Rogers. Also, by the way, it is his birthday today. So, happy birthday to Alexander Rogers. Y'all know it's Capricorn season. But, um, so yeah, that shit happened, you know, and it, now he's in his film because, oh my gosh, I invited you. I'm like, ah, we'll keep them separate. Yada, yada, blah, blah. His whole thing is let's keep business and, you know, personal separate. Uh, and she was like, you know, fuck it. No more personal. Whatever. Remy Ma, uh, Mendeecee, Papoose, Yandy. Look, they had a motherfucking double date. It is what the fuck it is. All that I'm going to talk about, because I told y'all I'm not entertaining Yandy and fucking uh, Mendeecee. Fuck shit. Her whole thing is Papoose wanted me to get out and go to the studio. The whole entire time I was in the, the, you know, the joint, I was thinking about that. But I wanted to, you know, go to the museum, go to a zoo. That's the type of shit that I wanted to do when I first came out. Mo and Lexi has a shit out it is what the fuck it is she's most spills of beans that hey i met with fucking yandy yandy said you know right ain't the shit pretty much wants to fire you know shitty and the crazy thing is i'm pretty sure lexi's gonna go back run tell that and we're gonna have blah and it's funny that even yandy met with mo and if y'all see how the way she was talking to her almost that whole you know i'm sitting here you know bumping clits with fucking mona so i'm gonna sit here and i'm gonna try to sit here and spin this shit and keep these damn circle lights going together ain't nobody stupid okay so i already told y'all i'm not talking about yandy and medici so uh yeah y'all can get that shit off your brain if you think i'm gonna talk about them because that's all they're gonna get for right now um amina and her sister uh yeah long story short uh she didn't spill the beans and everything and she don't want to have a baby by somebody that don't want her but the blogs and already told us allegedly she had an abortion so we're gonna see what the fuck happens all right all right all right so mo lexi uh having a uh oh wow they, they actually released that shit as a single uh okay they're in a rehearsal for their uh single uh t-h-o-t -T. um Shitty comes in, sits down with them. Mo, they begin to hash the shit. It doesn't go anywhere. 
Mo brings up that she met with Yandy. Now, Shitty felt some kind of way because she was just like, Yandy? Now, her whole thing, now she's trying to play it off like, prof professionally she was wrong because her whole thing is why would you take in-house business and take it somewhere else and I can understand that. I can. It Now, it would have been different if her and Yandy were friends. I don't know if they are or if they aren't, but again, a lot of this shit is contrived. I really don't believe it. I don't really fucking care. But, she brings that up and, uh, <clears throat> Shitty um, <clears throat> shades, Yandy, and uh, her confessional saying, "You ain't made nobody pop since Jim Jones." But uh, Shitty feels some kind of way. She pretty much like, "I, I can't do this. Not gonna do this." The single release party that I was going to throw, I am not doing any longer because I'm not gonna put my name on the line. And I can understand that. Like, wow, unless she was contractual contraction unless she was obligated by a motherfucking contract to fucking do the shit she should still do it other than that i can understand her fucking leave it is what the fuck it is and then mo has the audacity to say you know her just walking up running away like that shows and no no you, you can't sit here and try to get another motherfucking manager and win a mother like you know what i'm gonna give you what you want and leave you want to say get the fuck out of here Okay, so we almost done with the fuck shit. So we're at Mariah. Did I talk about that? Yeah, we're at Mariah Lynn's party. Uh, DJ Self said that he checked uh, Cardi's uh, IG and she has a hosting event, so she's not going to be there. So it, he's in the clear to bring Yorma. Uh, Mariah Lynn mentions that uh, to Rich that, uh, of course, she's having issues with her uh, manager, who's also the CEO of her record label. I would assume she's independent. That shit sounds a little cray, but whatever. And, uh, you know, of course, he's down to help her with that, but, you know, she wants some sexual shit, too. He's trying to figure out what the fuck you want from me. Um, Cardi uh, walks in, and, uh, at, you know, she says in her uh, confessional that her uh, little hosting it ended early. She tried to call self. Self didn't answer, so, hey, she gonna pop the fuck up. She gets there, holla at, you know, her little snow bunny. That's what she said. Uh, Mariah Lynn walks off. She looks over to her left. She looked over to the left and saw a uh, cell fender uh, Yorma. So she decides to go over there and handle the situation, Cardi B style. And she and you know rolls up, you know, doing her little thug this one. Now, cause I'ma dissect this shit right quick before this shit come back on, cause it's, it's real fucking simple. Uh, Cardi B approached Self in her own little way. We all know this shit fake. Yorma decides that she want to ask, what's up, with her? what's up with her? Now, here's the thing. You interjected. You putting yourself in a situation that ain't got shit to do with you. Again, y'all, I want y'all to think about this for a second. What does this remind you of? Johnny Blaze. Who was that boy? Rich and fucking, uh, you know, Rhymestone Strawberry. Same exact shit where Johnny Blaze was talking to Rich. You know, Rhinestone interjected her motherfucking self when she been worried about her motherfucking kid and she got yanked the fuck. I'm just saying. Mona recycling storyline, y'all. <clears throat> okay, so. Yorma wants to check this bitch and uh, pretty much says, uh, gotta pause that. Yeah, he ate my pussy. And uh, Cardi B, yeah, he ate my pussy. Oh, so you ate her pussy and you ate my pussy? It is what the fuck it is. So he trying to calm them down. This and the third and Cardi B, I, I look, turn the fuck up. I right, go ahead and get your motherfucking fifteen minutes. Push him out the way. Like yeah, I was fucking with him. I'm still fucking with him. We did this the other day, and it was pretty much one of those. Fuck it. She Johnny Blaze ass. Bop, 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 bop. That's what the fuck happened. Okay, again, recycling storylines. Hopefully next week I will give you guys a little bit more. Again, I have a song in my mind for next week. I think y'all know what it is. I don't even have to spoil it. So that's all that I have. This was a quickie. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys back here momentarily for Black Ink Crew, the season finale. Peace.